Good afternoon, everyone. This is Beth Allen. I'm the Director of Congregational Life at Spanish Fort United Methodist Church, and I'm bringing you today's Pray Down at High Noon. I'm happy to be with you on this beautiful day. So um, today I was reading um, a devotion about um, God's um, steadfast, steadfastness um, and God's presence, and um, the author of the devotion was talking about the Holy Land, and um, I have never been to the Holy Land, um, but I know several people who have been there before, and they've talked about, um, you know, what an amazing place it is, and just um, the presence of God that they have felt there, um, and I do hope that at some point um, that is something that I will be able to do is to travel there. Um, but um, the devotion was actually um, about the fact that um, most of us uh, don't get to go to the Holy Land. Many of us will never go there. And um, so finding that um, holy ground is something that um, we have to do where we are. And um, even in the Old Testament, um, when um, uh the people were taken away from Jerusalem or um, in times where um, the temple was destroyed, um, people had to find a place to um, seek God's presence. Um, and the thing that we have um, is the fact that we know that God's presence um, through the Holy Spirit is with us all the time, no matter where we are. And so um, as we think about these times where we are away from our sanctuary, um, that is a place that many of us um, think of as holy ground and find ourselves um, close to God um, being in the sanctuary. Um, there's other places, camps, um, many children um, and youth find themselves um, feeling most um, in the presence of God at some of those places. And um, in these times where we're not able to be those places, um, um, we have to strive a little bit more to seek God and find um, where God's presence um, can be felt um, no matter where we are. Um, and sometimes that's hard when we're in our house, especially if we're working in our house, kids are going to school in the house, um, finding that place. But I just encourage you um, to find that place um, where um, you can have um, some solace and um, where you can seek uh, God's presence because no matter where we are, um, he is always with us and we're thankful for that. So um, as we pray today, um, I, I will be praying for that. And as usual, we will close with the Lord's prayer. So I ask you to go to God in prayer with me now. Most gracious and heavenly father who is with us, no matter where we find ourselves, Lord, we just ask that you open our hearts and our other senses that um, we would feel your presence no matter where we are. Um, Lord, as we are um, having to be away from each other and our place that we may feel you most, Lord, I just encourage you to um, show us new places. Um, that can be a place where we can um, see you and feel your presence. Um, Lord, I ask your blessings on um, those that are in um, need today, um, those that are struggling, Lord, with health, um, Lord, with um, sadness, Lord, with grief. Um, we just ask that your presence be especially felt by those today and that you would open our eyes that we can be directed um, where we can share your presence with others. Um, Lord, we are thankful for um, this beautiful place that we get to live and this weather that we have. And Lord, we um, just ask you to continue to be with us as we... Um, Try to be steadfast um, in each other and with you because we know you are steadfast always. Um, Lord, as we pray together this prayer, um, we thank you for the words that you gave us so long ago. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day and our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Bless you all today. I hope that it is a wonderful day and um, check back with us tomorrow. Bye-bye.